Welcome back to start over. Welcome back to DFTV Network on Dad's Father's TV Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the verdict TV show? And what I like about the What's the Verdict TV show is there is no black and white answer. I like so that. that's why I call the show What's the Verdict? <laughs> what is your verdict? What is your decision? What is your purpose? Right. So before we took break, we was kind of breaking down. I used the word uh, transition. You used the word transformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the great thing about it was it both transforms to a purpose. Mm -hmm. Looking at where you came from, what you went through, what you had to go overcome turbulence with, it finally brought you to where you are right now. Right. Right now in life, most people say, where are you in life right now? How would you answer that? If they were to ask me, where am I in life right now? If you were, you were that 23-year-old guy that was on a high horse yeah. according to the public's eye. Yeah. Now you've went through it. You got a clear understanding of what you was doing wrong. Yeah. Now you apparently made some adjustment and transform or transition yeah. into where you are right now. And now you're preparing to showcase that by way of an event. Yeah. Where are you? Uh, man, I'm, 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 in, I'm, in this, I'm in this weird phase. Um, the phase I'm in is I figure it a way out. And so where I am right now is I want to show everybody else how they can get their way out too. Um, and we talk about, man, <laughs> I get excited when we talk about purpose. I just do because when we're talking about purpose, once you're functioning inside of your purpose, everything I swear to you just like opens up mm -hmm. like a freaking door. Like you can't do any wrong. You find the, the woman or man of your dreams, the relationship that you want. You, you begin to align yourself with people that fits your purpose and you don't find yourself making alliances with people that are bad for you. Right. And so my, my stage I'm in right now is I'm not where I want to be, but I'm so far ahead from where I was that I have enough time to turn around and bring as many people through that hole, teach them how to do the same thing so that we're kind of just collectively helping each other find our own purpose right. and walk our own path. You know, the funny thing about it is when we start talking about the word purpose, we actually asked the appropriate question. You used the scriptures in Roman, and we broke it down in plain cornbread language. Right. But then when you sit back and think about, we're talking about purpose, but the business that you're bringing to the forefront is yeah. talking about destiny. Yeah. So you have a purpose leading toward a yeah. destiny. And yours is called Destiny yeah. Awakes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty good, you know. That's pretty good. Yeah. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, for you guys who see me, you know this is something I, I totally enjoy because in order to achieve what you are trying to achieve, you have to master the order of compartmentalizing and prioritizing. Compartmentalizing. Yes, right. yes, right. yes. So with that, if you have a purpose, yes. so now you got to prioritize your purpose yes. by compartmentalizing the process to get there. Yes. So now, this is your stage. This is your stage. Look into that camera and explain, ladies and gentlemen, my destiny awakes compartmentalize, prioritize your purpose, how? I think that um, with the Destiny Awaits event, it's showing people what passion plus purpose equals destiny. Mm, say that again. Uh, passion plus purpose equals destiny. And I always give the example, our passion, everyone's passionate about a lot of stuff. Right. I'm passionate about being a good parent. I'm passionate about starting a network. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about being a model. I'm passionate about my career I'm passionate about my faith but passion is just like the Sun when you walk out without focus it's harmless we can walk out into the Sun right now and the Sun doesn't hurt your skin right however when you apply a magnifying glass to it it amplifies the Sun's rays so purpose is nothing but a magnifying glass that you put in front of your passion so it gives your passion something to focus toward making it an indestructible ray causing you to burn a hole through anything that you set the magnifying glass in front of which equates to your destiny. So a lot of times what people have to understand is that my passion is not my purpose. My passion for something is just my energy. It's an emotion. What happens with emotion? Mm -hmm. It fades out. Yep. So if I have this passion, I find my purpose, then at the event Destiny Awaits, we take that passion, we add a magnifying glass, which is helping you find your purpose. Inside the magnifying glass, if you look in, you'll see a direct destination where you need to go. Right. That destination is your specific destiny. So when you think about that, ladies and gentlemen, destiny or wait. So if you're out there, you've always wanted to get the appropriate direction yeah. for your business, yeah. for your uh, entrepreneurship or startup, 
this is an event you definitely want to mark your calendar for. Yeah, for sure. So what I'd like for you to do is, I I've never heard of you. <laughs> I've never heard of Destiny Awakes. Take a minute or so, look into the camera, and tell them in plain, simple promo terminology, Destiny to wait, why they should come. Uh, you should come to Destiny Awaits for one simple thing. If you're struggling uh, with your business, uh, you had hit a plateau and you don't know how you can get forward. A lot of times when you start that business, you're starting it for the wrong reasons. And you're not making a business around your purpose. If you're finding, if you're, if you need to come to Destiny Awaits if your relationship has hit a standstill and you can't progress and move forward. You need to come to Destiny Awaits if, you, if you're stuck in a, in a landlock with your spirituality because you have to figure out what your purpose is. A lot of you guys have to understand that your destiny is just an outcome of how focused you are in finding your purpose and making your purpose work for you. So this Destiny Awaits event is not only helping you find your purpose, but by the end you're going to know exactly what you need to be focusing on to be able to move forward for your future in your life. If you don't come to the Destiny Awaits event, you're starting off January, January 2018 off on the wrong foot. This Destiny Awaits event is definitely an event that I think that everyone needs. Well, with that, I'm going to take a quick 30-second break so I can absorb that. When we come back, we're going to reiterate the Destiny Awake. We'll be right back.